In this example, we're going to construct a truth table for a logical expression that involves the logical statements P and Q. So we're going to make a truth table, and we're going to do it for actually two different expressions. The first one we're going to look at is the logical expression not P and Q. Okay, so this is what we want to make a truth table for. So we're just working with the logical statements P and Q. So the first thing we need to do is make a table that has P and Q as the columns. And we need to list all the different combinations of P and Q. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to start off with FF, and then we're going to go to FT, and then TF, and then TT. And then these are all the different ways that you can list the combinations of P and Q being true and false. The order that we do these is definitely very arbitrary. You know, we could do it in a different order, but doing it in this order where we start with all F and then go to all T in the sequence that we've done, if we all agree that this is kind of the correct order, it's uh, easier to compare results if everybody uses this convention. So this is the way that we tend to do it. Always start with all false and then go to all true in this kind of organized manner. Okay. So those are the options that P and Q can uh, take on, or the values that P and Q can take on. We want to make a truth table for this overall expression, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the expression and see what other quantities that we need and slowly build up this truth table. So the next thing that I really need when I look at my expression is I don't have anything in my truth table now for not P. So the next thing that I want to do is make a column for not P. So I'm going to make a column for that. And now filling in this column is pretty easy. Not P means take the value for P, in this case F, and then negate it. So an F turns into a true. So we fill in a true. On the next line, again, we look at F. And then to fill in this spot in our table, we just negate that value. So when we negate F, we get T again. To fill in the next value for not P, we look here. And we fill it in by negating it. So we put F, etc. Okay. So that is how we go about filling in the rest of our truth table for the not P. Okay. So now we have a column for not P. And that's really all we need to do. This is a pretty simple example. The next thing we can actually make is a column for the final overall logical expression that we're working with. So this is the logical expression that we're working with. And we can go ahead and make that the last column of our table. And we can easily fill this in now because I have a column for each part of this expression. Not P, I have right here. And Q, I have right here. So I already have a column for each part of this logical expression. So to fill in this last column, I just need to look at the row that I'm working on and then take the and of this and this. So when I fill in this part of the table, I need to and F and T. Well, F and T is definitely a false because they both have to be true to be true. For the next row, I have to and these two quantities. When I and T and T, true and true is true, so that's a true. For the next row, I have to and these two quantities. False and false is definitely false. And then similarly, true and false is definitely false. So we now have a truth table for this logical expression. Okay, that was a pretty simple one. Let's do a little bit more complicated of a problem. In part B here, let's work with the logical expression P or not Q and not P or Q. So this one's a little bit more complicated, but it still just consists of the logical statements P and Q. So again, to start, we're going to start our table off with P and Q. And we're going to list all the different combinations of P and Q in the same order that we did the last table. We always start with all false, and we always work our way to all true. Okay. So now we need to look at our logical expression and start making columns for other things that we're going to find useful. So one of the things that we have up here in our logical expression is not P. We have a not P right here, so I'm going to go ahead and make a column for not P and fill that in. So we do this just like we did before. We have to look at the value for P and then negate it to enter it into the column for not P. So a false turns into a true. A false turns into a true. A true turns into a false. And a true turns into a false. So now I have a column for not P. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and make a column for not Q. I have a not Q right here, so I'm going to need not Q at some point. So let's go ahead and make a column for that. So to fill in the column for not Q, I'd look at the Q column and negate what's ever there. So a false will turn into a true, and a true, when negated, turns into a false, and a false, when negated, turns into a true, and a true, when negated, turns into a false. So now we have a column for not Q. Okay. So what's the next thing I might need? Well, the next thing I need is a column for P or not Q. I need to make a column for this part of my expression. Okay. To fill this in, I need to look at the P column, and I need to OR it with the not Q column. So I need to OR these two quantities. So the first entry is going to be F or true, false or true, which is definitely a true quantity. This next entry, I need to OR F and F, which will give me an F. Here, I need to OR true and true. So true or true gives me true, obviously. And then true or false gives me true again. So now I have a column for this part of my logical expression. And then you can probably guess what we're going to do next. Let's go ahead and make a column for this part. So the next thing that I need to do is make a column for not P or Q. So I need to examine this column and OR it with this column. So anywhere that I have a true, I'm going to write down true. So the first row is going to have a true, the second row is going to have a true, the third row has just Fs, so that's going to be false, but then the last row also has a true, so it's going to be true. So this is pretty easy to fill in. I'm going to have true, true, false, true. Okay. So now I have this piece and this piece as this column and this column. To fill in the final column, I just need to AND these two things together. So I just need to look at these and AND them. So true and true is true. False and true is definitely false. True and false is definitely false. And then true and true is true. So we've completed making a truth table for this slightly more complicated expression involving the logical statements P and Q.